going on? What's up, Darren? What are we doing right now? Hey, right now we're getting ready to head to the event at the Roseland Plaza Hotel. I have a big surprise for both Javon and Christian, so we're about to go see what that surprise is now. What is it, man? I have surprises. Choose which one you want to take. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Not the gray one, that's mine, but the, the two up there. The two up there, Joel. Damn! What we like to do is bring whoever the fitness celebrity is, we like to bring whatever they like to the event as well. So what we did was we got Christian yeah. and Javon, uh, their oh, own yeah. cars to drive, it, drive to the uh, event. Let's get it. Hey, let's, yeah. get it. let's get hey, bro, it. Let's get it. We gotta get a pick. We have to get a pick. All right. Get a pick to the That's what's up. That's pretty sick. Hold on, hold on. Stay like that. What's up, bro? This is crazy. They're about to go meet everyone. This looks insane. Let's get it. This is crazy. Yeah! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Kind of nervous. <laughs> I want to thank everyone so much. This is our last stop in the College Shore. We head back to Houston tomorrow, and seriously, like, we're just blown away. This is by far the biggest thing we've had this entire trip, and I want to thank you guys so much for coming out. We're going to stay here as long as we need to to talk to every single person that's here. So thank you guys so freaking much. We're going to get started. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm here with Bash right now. I used to handwrite all of our addresses. Uh, this is like when I was doing a few limited edition 50 units for a thing. AKA. What's up? Not yeah. even that. Before that. Oh, really? Before that. Before all that. that. Lost, it's bleached. You used to write all this stuff. Man. Crazy. Yeah, man. Thank hey. you. Oh, yeah. So much, man. Like, you know, the main one. All right, guys, we finished up here. It's about 10 p.m. now, and my voice is gone. I, it was amazing. Orlando, you're amazing. Like, gosh, we finished off this tour with a bang. Thank you to every single person that came out, not only here, but to all the locations that we went to these past two weeks. Um, Javon, I, I love this. We're definitely going to do this again in the future where we just kind of come around the U.S. Even We'll make our way uh, overseas and everything and do this for you guys. And it's just a way for us to show you that we appreciate you. You know, we had hundreds and hundreds of people here. And as, you know, there's like time limits and stuff. And all that. But, you know, they, they, the, the coordinators start to rush you. But I refuse to, I refuse to give someone a bad experience. And just know, I always, always try my very best to give every single person a good experience uh, to the best I can. And uh, yeah, just thank you guys. You're incredible. And you know, two years, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, I would have never imagined. Like, literally, I'll be there, like taking, I'll see a flash, and it's like, I'll just be. This is so surreal, and it's crazy. It's so crazy. But I'm telling you guys, like, if you have dreams of doing something, do it. Because I, I wasn't anything special. I was, you know, average and in school doing my thing. And it's, just, it's crazy what you can do if you just put your mind to something and believe in it. And uh, it's just so nice, so humbling to have everyone come and say hi, so. In this backpack, I've got two laptops, two full pairs of shoes, about 15 t-shirts underneath stacked up in there, and about eight camera batteries. My point is that this, this backpack holds pretty much everything. Right now, it's about 5.30 in the morning, and uh, today is day two out of three. The last two out of three nights, there's been absolutely zero sleep, so I haven't shut my eyes tonight. Um, 
but head back to Houston. Honestly, Javon and I consider just like sleeping in and saying, you know what, we're gonna deal with the flight in the morning and just, you know, figure it out. But I just wanna get home, guys. I wanna be home, I wanna go in my bed and sleep in my bed tonight, or today. So that's a game plan. Today is also launch day. So we're actually gonna get back to Houston at 9 a.m., 8.50 a.m. I'm gonna make a post at nine, and then the website's all good to go, that's what I've been doing all night. And so at 10 a.m., everything goes live, warehouse is ready, we have everyone over there, so we're gonna make it successful. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna catch up on some sleep tomorrow. So that's the game plan, the meetup was incredible, and we're just finishing up packing. Two weeks, bro. Only adjustment we're making to this backpack is we're changing the logo, uh, obviously because it cracks, and so pretty much there's no print that we can do that's not going to crack. We've been testing and testing, so we're most likely going to go to an embroidery sample, and if I confirm that sample, then we'll make these. So, but the backpack's already done. We just need to finish the logos on. Both my bags are overweight. That one by like four pounds. This one by like seven pounds. We have nowhere to move this stuff. Just have to pay the overweight fees. Back at the warehouse with everyone. Got Russell, Joe, Dad, got Mom. Got a bunch of snacks for launch. Um, got Derek in here. Those people are gonna be contract labor, right? Mm -hmm. Just contract. Okay, do we have them this, Okay, oh, so this is, is a new me. stock, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so you keep this. Okay. This is another stock, you keep this. You can tape the magnets What's up? to the back. Joe's taking me home. All right guys, it's been a crazy, crazy day. Literally not a minute, not like one blink of sleep last night. Uh, decided to go on our flight, decided. Like we were contemplating just not going or the, and just like sleeping in and then readjusting our flight stuff later in the day, but we did go this morning. And uh, it's so funny, my parents came to pick me up at the airport and there's two airports in Houston. And like I never ever go to this smaller airport that's like kind of over here. There's Bush and Hobby, everything's always Bush. Well, we flew in the hobby and our flights were paid for, so I didn't know like where we were flying at. So my parents were like at Bush and we were so confused for like 20, 30 minutes and I realized I was a hobby. So I got an Uber over here, they met me over here to say hi and stuff. But um, launch went insane. We broke tons and tons of records and now we're just moving forward to restocking some items. I'm ordering tomorrow, I'm going to the bank and transferring for more items, more product. Um, and things are going really well, so thank you guys for support. It was amazing, amazing. And now I'm about to head back. Uh, everyone's coming into work. I think they're starting at 12. So I'm gonna try to, it's 11 right now. I'm gonna try to take a nap from like 12 to three-ish, and then I'll make my way back over here. So that's a game plan. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm excited to go to the house. I'm gonna go to the house today. Sleep in my own bed. See you soon. What? I've been bored. Because I've been gone? I don't wanna admit it, but yeah, I've been, been pretty bored. Like nothing to do, no one wants to go out. Am I your best friend? Yeah, you're my best friend. Damn. Two weeks, bro. You're not going to body power, are you? Not. Damn, I'm that's, an, that's, an, flights, that's another like 10 days. That'd be alright. I, th I think it's like eight, eight or nine days, it's not that bad. Yeah, shit happened while you're. Is it... Yeah. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Feels so good to be home. My table, my couch, the kitchen. Dang. Movie room. Heck yeah. Behind the scenes for you guys. And these aisles are so big. Hey Derek, we're getting more and more legit every launch, huh? Every launch, man. Every launch. We're getting better. This, this is legit. This 
process is so efficient. See the labels that we put on all the items? Show, show me, show me, show me. All right, what's going on, family? Back with the commentary for you all. And today, I'm going to take you through a leg workout that was performed on Sunday. So, crazy day. Uh, got about three and a half, four hours of sleep after you know staying up all night, but came in the gym. I worked out with Frank. I was like, Frank, I miss you, bro. <laughs> Let's get a leg workout in. The gym was already closed down. It was after hours, but we went anyway and got an amazing workout in. So, I'm going to run you through it really quickly. Started out with four sets of quad extension, going from 12 to 15 reps. And Frank pretty much made this whole workout. I just told him, you know, let me follow you and let's get it done. So, four sets of tw uh, 12 to 15. Now, key tip on the quad extension, I come all the way down nice and slow. When I come up to the very top, I try not to lock out my knee. Um, that's the number one tip there. Next movement, lying hamstring curl. Again, contract for two Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. At the very top, I come down nice and slow, feel a stretch in my hamstring, and then I focus on pulling the weight up with my heels. So I make, I try to make my heels touch my butt on the hamstring curl. Now, after that, moved on to four working sets of back squat. You know, after the hamstrings and the quads were nice and pumped up from the previous movement, movements uh, moved on to here 365 I believe I did five or six reps and then moved on to sets with 315 pounds I wanted to get sets of about seven to ten ish that's sort of where I fell between I think I hit eight or nine for uh, two sets and I think I hit seven on my third set so four working sets on squats and uh, I had to put my hoodie on because my belt is getting too baggy and so the hoodie sort of helped me fill out that belt just a little bit more and also guys I was sweating like crazy here uh, I think literally I probably dropped dropped about two to three pounds of water this day because my weigh-in the following morning was you're gonna see it but uh, here walk Walking lunges or pulsing walking lunges. So you do two pulses and that's one rep. We did 10 reps on each leg, so 20 total reps non-stop. I was using 45 pounds and this was brutal. Like brutal, brutal. <laughs> this was brutal. So definitely try that if you guys have not. Finish off the entire workout with five sets of standing calf raises. Now keep in mind all this footage is sped up. So if it looks like I'm rushing through the sets, I'm actually not. It's just sped up. So thank you guys for watching. I will be back with the commentary in just a few minutes. It's 11.02 in the morning, and let me come over here so I can focus. I just woke up, guys. It was freaking, yesterday was crazy. I like, got here, I actually watched a movie um, until about 1 or 2 o'clock. I fell asleep until 5, so it's up to about 3 hours. I uh, went, I had an amazing leg workout, felt really, really good. Came back, uh, around 11, I fell asleep. And then now it's 11 a.m. So I slept about 12 hours and I caught up. I'm feeling awesome. Uh, so I did eat, I finished the macro yesterday and I sweat a lot in the gym. I, I swear I dropped like two, three pounds of water um, just in the gym and I haven't sweat like that in about two weeks because I haven't worked out in a warehouse. So I'm about to go weigh myself. We're gonna see where we're at. Here we go. New low in, heck yeah. 180.8 pounds. My previous low weigh-in was 182.4, and I should 180.8. So that's definitely like a that's a that's a nice little confidence booster. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, I swear I was holding on to so much water. I still even right now feel a little bit bloated um, from all the flying and stuff. So I think I'll break. I get into the 179s probably, hopefully maybe tomorrow or the next day, by Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about it. So I'm about to edit a video for Monday. Uh, the timing is gonna be a little bit off on Monday, but I'll start getting back on track with the timing this week. Had to sleep a little, guys. Had, you have to sleep, you have to sleep. So I'm feeling good. I'll check with you guys in a bit. Finish my video and it goes live at two. Oh, got a package for me tomorrow and check it out. So they just sent over some of their new colors. I'm taking these to my house because I, I lose these like freaking crazy, but. You're still gonna lose them. <laughs> got the new red, which is called, I'm on their website, it's called Rush Red. And they also sent me their new green, which is called Volt Green. Ooh, that one's sick. This is sick. I like the red one. Two new colors, so go check it out at umoro.com. Uh, umoro and some wristbands, which I'm going to put right now. But yeah, guys, so right now, um, printing off some documents, need to go over 
some sizing things for the hoodies that are coming out. So gonna do that. Change some measurements. Change that. Wow, wow. Change some measurements up. Check what I was. What's up today? Hey. Hey, hey. How's it going? Good. It's Monday, so I'm tired. How's it going, Becca? Good. Good. Just taking a break. From How's it going, Faith? All right, guys. So we did some adjustments on our hoodies and stuff real quick. That'll be here later on this year. Faith is hanging out with Jeff. Danae and I are going over some future product that will be ordered tomorrow. And FedEx is taking round two. So they came this morning. Now this is round two. This is everything that's been packaged this morning. Uh, we're throwing some last minute ones in here. Uh, they picked up last night. Last night? So this is all from this morning? This is all from last night and this morning. Last night and this morning. Yeah, so and, they uh, made, this is the second truck being picked up. And then DHL's in there picking up. So what's the update? When can everyone expect their orders to be out by? I want to say probably Wednesday because we have the black V-necks on back order. So okay. those are so Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, everything Wednesday. will be out by. And then oh, depending on your delivery method, it'll be see you guys this week or next week. So in here, we got our internationals going out. So DHL scanning everything here, package by package. What All the Express have gone out though. So All you, Express has gone out. Expedited. Uh, domestic or if you did uh, international of course international is all expressed so those are all done um, aside from the black v-necks that were on back order and it's and only then, Monday bro heck Monday, yeah. yeah that's what a good team does guys everything's out by freaking Monday heck yeah can't ask for anything better all right guys we're here at Chick-fil-a I've missed this place I haven't been here in about two weeks here's there we go right, thank guys. you man appreciate it good sorry there you go no worries thank enjoy. you enjoy the pleasure so what I've got here I got two grilled chicken sandwiches, and I don't get the lettuce or tomatoes, so I don't really like how it makes the bread. It makes it kind of soggy, but I'll be sure to get my veggies in later on today. So I've got chicken breast with a whole wheat bun, and two of them. I like to do one of them with buffalo sauce, right there, see that? Oh. And then one with barbecue sauce. And here, I believe this is about 10 carbs, 10 grams of carbs, which I'll use for this one. So that's it. Um, two of these sandwiches and a diet lemonade, which I believe is 10 to 15 carbs as well. Look it up on my fitness stuff. I'm gonna enjoy it and then we're gonna head back to the gym. I wanna work out pretty soon and get it out of the way. So it's been a very productive morning. All right, back from lunch. Gonna come in here. Pretty sure my grandma's here right now. So we're gonna say hi. Don't worry, your Thank grandma's you. just telling me I'm the most beautiful girl she's ever seen. <laughs> but really. Hi. <laughs> hi, Abuelita. <laughs> wow. Oh. Mm. Oh, see. She said thanks for taking care of her shit for me. Oh, yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> so, Russell. What's up? What's up? What's up? Russell worked his first day of launch. Yo, my upper back is tight. Like, really, really tight. Just like standing and putting orders, like patching orders, man. Heck so yeah. Tight. Heck yeah. And Frank just ordered a pair of shoes. The Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost in all white. So clean. Heck yeah. I'm salty for sure. Becca? She said it's time to cook for mom. <laughs> she said the kid's cooking for mom today. Dang. Look at that. She hooked me up. Dang. Goals. Dang. Dang, I'm the worst right, employee. I'm go <laughs> What'd you say? I want to vlog y'all every fucking set. <laughs> trying to live. All right, family, round two of this video commentary. So we're here uh, right now. It's technically May 3rd. It's about 12.30 in the morning, and I'm knocking this video out so I can go and get some rest tonight. But I'm going to take you through this back workout. So started out with the pull down. I've been doing this the last few pull workouts. So I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's a good way to get my lats fired up. And so literally either just use a band or you know use a rope and focus on pulling down with your lat and pumping up. You know I do anywhere from 15 to 30 reps on that, about three sets, just to get some blood flow into my lats and get my lats firing. So after a warm-up right there, a nice active warm-up, I moved on to some pull-ups. Uh, you know, I talked about this in a recent video, but I don't like to go too, too wide. I like to measure a neutral grip and then go about three to four inches wider than that with my thumbs over the bar and everything. And here, this is EH Fitness on Instagram, aka Emily Hayden, and she is a 
beast. Check it out. She's squatting. Uh, I believe she did 225 for six reps. And uh, her, Ali Stone, and Amanda Bucci are coming down uh, to Alphalete Gym this Wednesday to have a meetup and a seminar uh, with the Paradomus team. And it's going to be sick. So they're going to be here, um, you know, hosting bikini and posing, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, she squats 225 for six. She is a beast. And just thought I would put that clip in there. But here, moved on after the pull-up, moved on to a few sets of the dumbbell row. Uh, I was using 90 pounds here. I like to keep my legs together and focus on pulling up with my elbow. Um, squeezing my back, my lats as, you know, to the best I can. And I think I did 90s for a few sets. And then I actually dropped it down and got 15 to 20 reps with 70 pound numbers bills to be honest with you guys and uh it feels so good to freaking sweat you know the last two weeks we've been working out uh not every single day but majority of days have been in commercial gyms it's nice and cold there's no music so today the music was blasting there were a bunch of people in there uh, a lot of my friends were there and just such an amazing amazing environment at Alphalete. and if you guys have not had the chance to come check it out uh, please come check it out this summer. We're going to be open, you know, Monday through Sunday, every day, and uh, we would love to have you guys here. So, uh, moved on to a CD cable row. Now, as you saw, I believe I might do another set here maybe not but we sat on a dumbbell um, just to get a little bit different of an angle so if you put we I think we use like a 40 or 50 pound dumbbell not too big of a dumbbell but 40 to 50 pound dumbbell you sit on the dumbbell and I like to focus on pulling the cable up and really just feeling a stretch in my back and contracting and I like going pretty heavy there I think I was doing sets of like eight or nine on that and then moved on to a pull down where we're doing a very very neutral grip with thumbs over the bar um, just using little hooks now I'm really excited guys I did move my competition i talked about this in my last video with uh you know the last video that i posted yesterday on monday's video that i am going to be doing the july 30th competition which is a labrada classic it's the first year that they're doing this competition it's right down the street from my gym it's in stafford like literally two minutes away and um I'm extremely excited to zone in on that one competition and give that competition everything that I've got. I feel like I'm looking very good for being about 13, 12 and a half to 13 weeks out, and I'm confident that I'm going to bring the best physique. I'm going to be the most productive. Um, you know, I'm not going to sacrifice my entire life in order to do this show. I'm going to balance all the business. I'm going to balance my friendships, my relationships, and that is the point of this prep. I want to be the best version of myself that I can, and I'm extremely excited. Um, I'm excited for you guys to continue this journey with me and it's going to be awesome so much so so much is coming guys so much good content i'm telling you so much good content and uh it's pretty late right now it's about 12 30 a.m and you guys mean the world to me so thank you so much for watching this video hopefully this sounds okay i'm actually recording i started recording these commentaries on my iphone and i'm like air dropping the uh the memos to my computer so hopefully it sounds good nice and clear and nice and crisp but thank you for watching Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, or talk to you tomorrow. Yes, whatever. <laughs> Have a good night, guys, or good day. Have a good day. Good evening. Good night, wherever you are in the world. Peace out, Internet. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Dang, this clip keeps rolling and rolling.